these things are not cheap and sometimes we think like some of the manufacturers just lack with the imagination because when you put this much money on a motorhome you should get like a grand things and sometimes things just look very poorly made but we are impressed with this one stopped our journey to Hyvinkää. We came here to do laundry. Whenever we come here, we will take a look of the new camper vans and see if they have a new designs or something very innovative. Now that you can all already found used 4x4s. I think this is new, but still. It's a compact version of our van. There's a lot of things that we don't like in this van. For example, these cupboards, they look like, I don't know, it's not like professional made. Just uh, some hobbyist just made cupboards to their home built van. Yeah, exactly. It looks very like a uh, self converted. Like, they don't look like a factory made details. Like, and yeah, they are not detailed. All the things, for example, these blocks here everything looks like uh, somebody has actually built it and haven't actually had any uh, engineer or designer doing planning just putting things together and the cockpit area this is for transit it's very low you almost have to go like downstairs and you cannot have any uh, cupboards over here because you cannot fit here <laughs> and even I am little, I barely fit <laughs> in here. We are not fan of this model. What's the price tag? Let's see that. 81,000. But yeah, it has a 4x4 and it has a traction control in here. Uh, it's not four wheel drive, it's all wheel drive. That's totally different thing. So if you Google four-wheel drive and AVD, all-wheel drive, they are different thing. But of course you get a lot of more grip even with the AVD system. But I know, we don't really need it. Uh, good tires and good clearance is enough for our needs. And I would think that uh, we would just make a really stupid uh, things with the 4x4. We have almost tipped our van already with good tires and gone to the really <laughs> stupid places just wrecking our van there. And yeah, so 4x4 would be a suicide for us. These hallways are kind of narrow if you compare this van to our van, which has a quite large hallway. Yeah, and this is the bathroom. It's a decent size. First thing my eye catches is this weird thing. I guess you can place your shampoo bottles or whatever there, but it looks like really hard to keep clean. For example, this design. If you have a shower and any water goes here or from the tap. Yeah. And if you are sitting here and need toilet paper from this, you need to move your So yeah. Things. yeah, so there's a lot of things that are even with the professional designers that they don't really do proper job. There's always so stupid things in vans. We, we hate them. Yeah. Stupid things. And black vans are incredible hot in the sun. They look nice, but they look only nice when they are clean. <laughs> and most of the times vans are not clean at all. Oh god, yeah, they are Instagram friendly. They look good in different uh, photos. photos, but yeah, we wouldn't buy a, b a black van. 4x4s, they are coming also on a Fiat. There is a 4x4, uh, that is Ford. So again, this is another Ford. That is Knaus 4x4 motorhome. So they are here. This is a longer model. One thing I do not like is this fabric type. 
yeah, I don't like the price tag either. But these gray things, they are for example here, near the kitchen. So when you bake meat or something, everything becomes so crazy and disgusting, even you have this protection here. So I don't think putting fabric here is a good idea. And they are all over the place. I don't know, maybe some people like it. And these tapo seats, they are like a real car seats. I'm sure they are more comfortable to be, but I don't know, they just stick out too much to the hallway. Window that you can open and let the fumes out. These look nice. Yeah. But kind of clumsy, damper door. Not a fan. Yeah. Is it broken already? Shit. We do not want to break anything. How does this go? Okay. It's just stuck there. Yeah. That's why we don't like tumble windows. Because they are stuck from the yeah. very first day. Even the brand new ones. They are not working. But this has like a real doll. And it's laminated. I like this. Yeah. Shiny. Because we have seen a lot of shower rooms where wood isn't laminated. Yeah. Here it's, it's well built. Yeah. Otherwise, I just don't like the damper indoor. And these things come from here. A lot of people think this is genius idea, but I don't. Because when you sit in the toilet and want to wash your hands, you cannot do that in the same time. But you have uh, the pussy cell phone here. Yeah. <laughs> this is a must have thing. Be there. Now we are entering Cliff, Sunlight Cliff. And it has an automatic motor and the hallway. And this lounge section is kind of wide. I like this better than the other camper van. And this sofa looks decent, so if this would... Oh, we would not maybe steer this away. The big fridge is here. So it's not blocking the hallway. But it's compressor fridge. Yeah, we don't like it, so this is no, no. Fiat has aut automatic transmission, 9 speed. That is good. It's working. It's great. And it's good that uh, new vans has a lot of them. It's cost uh, like 4000 euros, I think. And it's great upgrade. If you are trying to look for a van and you see automatic order Fiat that has this robot automatic transmission, don't buy it. Eventually it will break and it will be really costly. I have two or three friends that have actually paid two or three thousand euros to fix it. And basically they just fixed the part that went, went wrong, but they will fail again. There is this uh, little plastic uh, parts in the transmission which will break and yeah, then it's, then it's horrible. Money waste, money pit. This is Hoppy Vantana, one of the most popular models and it's a little bit cheaper than those previous ones that we did look. It's a Fiat and I think it's decent. We like it, we don't like the brown color because we are all about the grey and white color. Special kind of things in here. There's a fridge in the upper cabinet. But hobby, what we like is the bathroom. Yeah, this is a uh, has a tambourine door, but this this tambourine door really Slides. works. It really works. I think it's the owner that I have actually made this. But there's a tape in the upper top part and then down part, so it keeps it uh, more tighter. So that's why it's moving really easy. Everything is like a, either plastic or they have put them some uh, coating. So you can actually go there and, and splash around and, and you have a civil toilet seat that doesn't take any space. This is uh, how the shower experience should be. So it's it's really a shower within shower. Just open the door 
Do all the works. And I like the smell in here. It's menthol, strawberry. <laughs> yeah, this was the uh, uh, first van that smelled really good, so it was because of that. Camperan factories. Take a look at this bathroom and make yours look like that one. So we are impressed. This is a full motorhome, a challenger, and we fell in love with the design because it doesn't have ugly couch and all these materials are very modern and this is like a wallpaper like and very modern kitchen and this very luxurious bathroom Ooh, nice this shower booth is like a real deal like you are in the hotel room or something I think this is amazing and then separate toilet Challenger accepted we are really in love with this manufacturer's design like all the fake letters and light interior and white cabinets and this overall section looks pretty airy we are not in love with this table because even you can modify it. It seems like it's half broken. Look, there's an extra support, so you can put this table to various positions. But yeah, the basic things: stoves and the sink. And this one has like really puzzle-like plates here in the sink. Yeah, overall. I think beautiful and real door. Let's go see the bathroom also. No shower curtains, just this plastic thing. So yeah, kind of nice, but a small camper. Shower room. This van is more like a motor home. Even it's inside of the van. And I think we have seen this model in some of the camper and expos and it's very light and I think it's more the length is a little bit more than the normal ones so it's over six meters and look all the lightness yay this layout is a little bit different because there's a bed in this section and it provides this huge narrow bathroom and the kitchen is like this l-shaped one yeah and opposite side is the big fridge and everything is very light texture and extra seats here in the lounge area yeah very girly camper van i would say <laughs> this is our van but this is not our van in a parallel universe do you recognize this model it's very brownish and i think it's one year older than our van because of this round shape sink but otherwise this is like exactly look at that bathroom whoa this still works so we got the poor one it's wear out already oh god so it's going to happen and this stupid cupboard is still there <laughs> whoa this is like a memory lane oh my god and our fridge too yeah very similar. Oh, the headboard. I have to touch them if they are like similar. And about these Atria twin models. The older model had a shower faucet shaped like this. But this is bad because it trips and the water trips from here. And it soaks the sink area. So it should be shaped like ours. Better. This is prettier, but not functional. So Bulla could almost come here by himself, but we did have a lift kit in our van and also we did have this electrical step that we removed because it was hitting always the rocks and ground. So, But now Bulla cannot get inside of our van. Yeah. <laughs> and our favorite model of them all. Our dear van. Our home. Of course. This ticks all the boxes. Marcelle's can detergent. So now our 
beautiful clothes will smell like a France. And not ass at all. No. <laughs> yeah. Cons of living in a van. Everything smells like an ass. First we give them sima and then we pull the matto alta. It's a really common saying in Finland. And really? Yeah. Never heard of it. Uh, so common. Usually who makes it is Sarah. Oh, okay. It has a gamer humor. Mm -hmm. If you would tow a caravan, it would be something like this side. Boxy. Perfect on the road. But not these bigger models. No, 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 no. Look how beautiful these caravans can be when they are new. All white cabinets and only grey color and some black details. And we like this layout very much. You have your bed section here and your sink and bathroom there. Then there is a kitchen and lounge area and kids are in that corner. So it's nice to see these caravans have come to this century. And not just have a really brown, ugly wooden interior. Yeah, I would live here. Yeah, easily. Yeah, and there's a, a kids' bunk bed, but I think we could rip this apart and put like a gaming and data set up there, an editing table. This is retro, retro caravan, and when you ask from the Finnish caravan owners, the Solifer, they are good, well built, and they are the best ones you can have, even the older ones. In reality, all the wood is here, it's printles, it's soft. Here is hardwood, all this is soft, over here. No, this is like a, I think, five thousand euro caravan, and it's it's basically a wreck. And most of the caravans that I have looked for in price range of five to ten thousand euros, yeah, they are leaking everyone. And also, compared to motor homeowners, they usually uh, fix their motor homes in a garage or somebody professional big system. But the caravan owners, they have them somewhere in a camping ground or somewhere and they fix things by themselves. They use wrong things, they use it too little and, and they make stupid mistakes. For example, if your left side of the window is leaking, you just block that leaking but you don't fix the whole sealant around the windows. That is really common. And those kind of stupid mistakes and stupid fixes you can see a lot in other older caravans, not in modern homes. Yeah, it's that's why it's it's really risky to buy any older caravans because you know that there is stupid people that have actually made fixes. So when or if we buy a caravan in the future, I will rip part. For example, these sky roofs and look for water damage because you can see it easily if it's leaked. All the window coverings, I will go through that there is sealant that is not printed. No, otherwise, I won't buy any caravans because then it will, will would be a project caravan that I need to fix for next two years to make it livable. Livable because these are not these are just horrible conditions. I will show you. Somebody has tried to fix that. It's not fixed. It's leaking over there. All the water. Somebody has changed these seal. seals over here. But he was so lazy that he just changed the seals until there. And this seal over here is not changed. You need to change the whole seal. And you know that we have a lot in Finland uh, and building a 
house there is our plan in some time frame. But of course, this caravans, caravans would work as a temporary housing solution. housing solution when you are in one place. These are too big to actually haul them around. We wouldn't do that. But like a static van life. Static van life. Yeah. Uh, I think this is was our like first thing that we really liked. This is like a Scandinavian edition. This has really good Thick. insulations and everything. And of course, when we are looking for motorhomes and everything, one thing that we need to have is place for wood stove. Da -da -da -da. Perfect place for a big ass wood stove if we prefer. And then we would of course tear this ugly sofa system away and put a desk there and little tinier sofa. Maybe big TV or screen there and bigger sofa on this side. And I'm laying in a bed and Joni is working on the computer or something. I can still see him because it's so important to me. So this fabric curtain would go away and this wall would go away. And also these older ones we would actually paint all the cabinets. Yeah, of so course. It's pretty easy job. It would take maybe two or three days to paint all these cabinets. We would need to disassemble all the doors away, but still, it's it's like two days job to make it, and it, then it, it would be looking like ours. Yeah, and we really much like the layout, and there's a bathroom even. I don't know if we would use it because in our plot we have a composting toilet and we have a sauna, so we would rather bathe in a lake. But there's an option too. And we did cook a meal. But we could not finish the dishes because we did run out of the water. You can get water from here, but it's 4 euros 50 cents or something. And there's a spring water near, so we will make it a little detour and get the great tasting spring water here in Hyvinka and then do the dishes with the spring water. I love and we have all the time in the world, so we can just do stuff like that and wait forever the lantry to be dry. So we are driving this narrow road and searching for spring water. It's not marked very well and I think we have to go somewhere deep in the forest. And there's what's a sign you shouldn't be driving here, but let's see. Pula is sad because we didn't find any water. Yeah, no water was found, so we will go to the gas station to find the fresh water. Yeah, next step. The pee bottle goes. Yeah, uh, also it's last. On our experience, three weeks or four weeks, so you don't really have to find empty spots in here. But for the pee bottle, there is this caravan emptying spots also in Finland and it's really easy to actually empty the pee bottle there so I think we're gonna empty the pee bottle like every three days approximately but we try to always find these places to dump it but sometimes we dump it also to the forests around us funny thing our pee smells just like asparagus we have been eating so much asparagus also, onions are one thing that make your pee smell like onions and also your skin. Yeah, usually when you are using catatolt you just uh, smell the mixer of poop and pee, but now you can actually smell what you have eaten with the only pee paddle. And how we clean the bathroom floor after hot shower, we just use the squeezy, so all the wa extra water goes down the drain and we removed our toilet from the bathroom to our hallway so we have this all this extra room to take a shower 